Elsewhere in the region, as many as 6,000 opponents of Muammar Gaddafi marched through rebel-held Benghazi, Libya today, while increased fighting was reported today in the cities of Musrata and Zawiya. Alan Pizzi in Gaddafi's stronghold of Tripoli has the latest. Heavy shelling by forces loyal to Muammar Gaddafi halted an attempt by rebels to push forward out of the besieged city of Misrata. The rebels suffered some of their worst casualties to date. The first fighting since March also broke out in the key town of Zawiya on the road to Tunisia. The road is Gaddafi's main supply line, and rebel control of Zawiya would effectively cut the Libyan capital off from the outside world. The port is useless thanks to the NATO blockade, which is already causing shortages of vital supplies, including refined fuel. Lines at gas stations here stretch for miles. Whatever the situation on the battlefront, however, the Libyan regime never misses a propaganda opportunity. This show was to mark the anniversary of the eviction of the U.S. military from what used to be Wheelis Air Base. First used by American bombers in 1943, it served as a strategic air command base and NATO training center until 1970, a year after Gaddafi took power. The general theme of the event, and especially the speeches, was simple. Muammar Gaddafi drove the Americans and NATO out. Now they're trying to come back to set up more bases and steal Libya's oil. And he's not going to let that happen. That may seem unrealistic, given what's going on outside his capital, but Gaddafi seems to hear only his own song. He's just rebuffed an offer from Turkey to guarantee his safety if he gives up. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Tripoli.